Okay, so the question is, do you need to buy a $300 cast iron skillet or can you get away with a basic $20 cast iron skillet? So in this video, I'm gonna be comparing both of these cast iron skillets and letting you know, is it worth the extra $280 to get this bad boy by Finex or are you okay with the $20 Lodge 12 inch cast iron skillet? We're gonna be doing a heat test, we're gonna be doing a cook test, we're gonna be doing an overall review on both these skillets and I'll give you my final thought at the end. And just a heads up, I'm not being paid for this video or I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. So here we go. Okay, so the first test we're gonna do is the overall appearance. Um, this is the Fine X 12 inch, obviously, and it's got a really good looking handle. Handle is supposed to be um, to disperse heat so you can actually touch it with your bare hand. The lodge, the handle is just your basic cast iron handle. It's kind of small. It doesn't have a really good feel to it. This has like a, a, a geometrical shape. Let me see how many sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. So octagon. So it's like a stop sign. And the lodge is your basic circle with your pour spouts. Now these, I believe you can pour from here. Well, back here, you'd burn yourself. Here, 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 here. You get the point. Um, as far as the other side, the Fine X has real nice design in the back. The lodge just has a basic lodge thing. But I know you can get lodge 12 inch skillets that have a nicer design, but they're more expensive. This one, like it was $20. This one was 300. Um, it did come with a lid, but this did not come with lid. So we're just going to be doing the review with no lids. So overall appearance, I got to give it to the Fine X for the win. It's just a better looking skillet. I mean, it just looks beautiful. Not that this is a bad looking skillet, but when it's next to this bad boy, it's like Miss America next to miss county or you know what i'm okay, saying okay so for the second thing we're going to do is we're going to actually weigh these bad boys i have my uh hefty ud poster scale that goes up to 400 pounds um so this is the fine x these are fairly heavy fine x weighs in at seven pounds nine ounces so you're probably wondering right now how i held it up like that when i was in the beginning of the video i'm strong dude then we got the lodge surprisingly the lodge is a little bit heavier it's eight pounds on the nose so very heavy. Um, if you've ever seen the movie, I think it's, I believe it's called Rapunzel or Tangled. Chick has the skillet that he's beating people with. He's definitely she's using a cast iron skillet. But anyway, uh, weight test goes to Lodge. Is that going to be a factor for the rest of the video? I don't know. But the next thing we're going to do is a heat test. So we're going to see if the heavier skillet actually equates to better overall heat dispersion and uh, keeping the heat so okay i know i said we we're gonna do the heat test next but i lied we're gonna do the measurement test we're gonna measure the dimensions of the skillets so this is 12 inches and this is 12 inches so 12 inches from here to here 12 inches from here to here um, inside dimensions we have looks like 10 inches on the lodge and nine and a half on the fine x so cooking surface wise the lodge wins the cooking surface game because it's a bigger cooking surface than the 12 inch. Um, as far as depth goes, we got about, uh, looks like two and a half inches, two and a half inches. So they're both about the same height. Um, so again, the only thing that's different is the actual cooking surface on the bottom. So for the, for the heat test, we're gonna use this burner right here, which is gonna be the size that most people are gonna have in their kitchen. The one we have on the right is a lot larger and a lot of people don't have that size. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to place the Finex on there. We're gonna get a, Beginning temperature, 67 degrees and 67 degrees all around. So we're gonna go ahead and let it heat up for two minutes on high heat and we're gonna give you the final temperature. So the center we have 240 degrees, the outside we have 313 and the lip we have 247. So. So we're gonna go ahead and let it set there for five minutes. And in five minutes, we're gonna come back and let you know how it retained its heat. Again, the oven is off right now, or the stove is top is off right now, so. Okay, it's been five minutes, so let's go ahead and, we got one, two, about 200 in the center, 210. We got 220 on the outside and 218 on the rim. So it's fairly evenly heated and after five minutes it didn't lose too much temperature so we just put the lodge on we're gonna let this heat up the same time we let the fine ice heat up and we'll be right back and now for the heat test we got 254 in the center or 254 in the center 
321 on the outside and the brim we have 245 to 230. So we're gonna let this set for five minutes with the heat off. Okay, it's been five minutes. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy tested. Uh, 228 in the middle. 224 on the outside and the rim we got, let's see if we can see that. 206, 204. So it evenly heats pretty well. Um, we're gonna go ahead and tie the file, file numbers up. We're gonna give you a winner right now. Okay, both skills come pre-season from the factory. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a stick test. How we're gonna do that, we're gonna actually turn this on uh, medium high heat. We're gonna let it heat up for two minutes and then we're gonna throw a piece of cheese on there and we're gonna see how easily the cheese scrapes away if it sticks or not. So, okay, we've been heated up for two minutes. We're gonna go ahead and throw the cheese on. Sizzling. Um, just for reference, the handle on this right now is 150 degrees. So um, we forgot to do a handle test. So that's the handle on there and the cheese is gonna be melting. We'll let it melt for about 30 seconds and we'll be right back. Hey, okay, we're gonna go ahead and try this. As you can see, it's sticking pretty good. <laughs> so cheese test, it's sticking. It's been two minutes now. Let's go ahead and test this handle out. We're gonna do the temperature on it on the stainless steel part. It's uh, about 90 degrees. So that's actually, you can hold it with your hand. Um, it is fairly hot down here, but again, it's manageable with your hand. And then the, the lodge was not manageable, obviously. So we're gonna go ahead and throw the cheese on. Let that melt and we're gonna see if it sticks. One more thing I like to say, this is a machine bottom, so it's it's smooth. The lodge, it's the same uh, service the, all over the entire skillet. So this has like a smooth kind of bottom. It's how, how they used to do it back in the day is what I've been told. Okay, here we go. As far as the stick test, the, <laughs> the Finex is taking the cake. I mean, look at that. Not really sticking that much. So that is gonna be a win for the Finex on the stick test. So yeah, there you go. That's again, pre-season from the factory. The more you cook with these, the better the anti-stick is gonna get. But as far as from the factory, Fine X takes that. Handle test, Fine X takes that. So there you go. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on is it worth paying the extra $280 for the Fine X opposed to paying the $20 for the Lodge. Now, it it, it goes down, boils down to personal preference. Um, they both cooked about the same. They both heated up about the same. They both have about the same weight. They don't look the same, but again, that's your, your, your personal preference comes in. Do you want a pan that looks super, super nice on camera? Do you want a pan that looks really nice for, for like a, a nice meal if you wanna use it as a serving dish? Or do you want a pan that just gets the job done? So personally, obviously I own both now, but um, I'm gonna stick with the Fine X because for what I use it for, it, it tailors to my needs for, for my YouTube channel. Uh, it just makes the videos, it brings a little better production quality. If, if you're just somebody that needs the best of the best, then yeah, go for the Fine X. If you're somebody who just wants a really nice cast iron skillet that can cook, can get the job done, you can go with the Lodge, save yourself 280 bucks. Yeah. Hope this video helped you make the decision. Um, and now I've got some cleaning to do because I got some stuck, stuck on cheese on both of them. So anyway, Tons of cooking videos on the channel, tons more coming. If there's anything you want to see me cook, please let me know in the comments below. Six and four life. Peace and you're welcome.